In this video, we're going to look at how to use the page designer to add a form for one of your scripts. So automatically, we do generate forms inside the PowerShell Universal Admin Console. So I do have a single script here. And when I click Invoke Script, you're going to see that the parameters for that script appear inside the Run Form dialog here. Um, there are reasons that you may not want your users inside the admin console. One being that it might be a little overwhelming with all the options and that kind of thing. Um, and the other that you might just kind of want to group together um, some common controls into a single page. So you, you can see here we have a script that has a couple parameters. Um, we're going to call read host to uh, prompt for more information. We're going to write progress while we're preparing our food. And then we're gonna output a hash table of um, the calories, fat, carbs, customer name, delivery time, and the type of food that was prepared. So let's look at what it takes to create a form for this particular script. So if you go to user interfaces pages, you can click create new page. And I'm gonna just do an order food page. And we're gonna turn off authentication and just click okay. So now we have an order food page and we can click this little view button to actually go over to the order food page. Next, I wanna click edit, toolbox, data input, and then I'm gonna select the form and add that to my page. Um, once you have a form or any control on a page like this, you can drag it around and resize it. And they all have properties accessible by clicking this properties button in the top right. So I'm gonna update some properties here. We're gonna call this order food. We are gonna output a table. Um, you can output text as well. So the text will look like what comes out in a PowerShell uh, console. Uh, a table will take any objects that were returned and put them into a table. Um, and if you set it to uh, the result type to none, it's just gonna say whether or not the job was successful or not. But we'll use a table since we have a hash table coming out of our script. Um, so please enter your info. And then we have a couple other options here. Show output will show output while the script is running. Otherwise, it's just going to you know, show a spinner. Uh, show progress is whether or not you want to integrate with write progress. Since we are using write progress, we're going to do that. Um, can reset allows the user to reset the form once they've submitted it once. Sometimes you might not want them to go back and do it again. Um, but in this case, we'll let them do that. Uh, next, we need to set the target. So the target is what actually executes when you enter your form. So we uh, support two types of targets, APIs and scripts. So we're actually going to select our script, and then we will script select form.ps1. And now you have the option to specify whether or not you want to run this as a different account uh, or in a different environment. So I'll just leave those both uh, as their default values. Next, we need to uh, modify the forms that we, or the fields that we want on our form. So I'll add a new one. I'll call this one first name. And these need to match the parameters of your script. So I'm gonna say first name, first name, and I will select a text box. Um, and we can, you know, add help, tool tips, default values, uh, make it required. I'll just put a little help here so you can see what that looks like. And then We'll add our next parameter, which is last name and last name. And again, we want this one to be a text box. And we can put this uh, tooltip on this one, your last name. And we'll also make this one required. And then finally, we'll put in our uh, delivery time. And we're actually going to make this a time component rather than a text box. And we'll make that required as well. Next, you have text options. So in this case, save doesn't really make sense for ordering food. So we could say order instead of save. And um, I don't know, pick some icon, IE. So now when we save that, you're going to see that our form is updated. All the information that we entered has now shown up on the form. And if we save this page, what you'll see is I can enter my information. So I have Adam Driscoll, and then I can select my order time, which is now, and then I can click order. So what's happened here is I clicked the order button, it ran the script, and now we're sitting on our read host um, line. So if I click uh, respond to feedback, you can see what are we making, and I'm going to click or enter bacon, and it's starting to prepare my bacon. You can see this is that right progress, 
So it'll actually output the percentage complete and the current activity, which is preparing bacon. So once this is complete, what you'll see is um, the output from the script. And because I, uh, I set it to a hash table, um, or I set it to a table and we are outputting a hash table, it created this table which with properties for each one of the fields in my hash table. And you can see we have bacon, the customer name they entered, the delivery time, and then um, the nutrition information. And then this little button back here allows you to go back and resubmit that form. So one other thing I wanna talk about with forms is uh, form validation. So if we actually go back to PowerShell Universal and we go to APIs, you're gonna see that I have a validate order um, endpoint here. It's gotta be a post endpoint. And if we look at how that's um, implemented, what I'm doing is I'm getting the body of the request. So this is gonna be a JSON string that includes all the uh, parameters that were um, entered by the user. So these are each one of the fields. And then I am actually uh, deserializing that with convert from JSON, and then I'm checking each one of the fields. So in this case, I'm checking first name and last name, and if it matches Adam Driscoll, you'll see that you have been banned. So it won't allow me to actually execute the script without this validation working first. And then if it's any other user, um, then validation su should succeed. So if you go back to our uh, order form here, we can click edit again. And we want to hit properties, and that's where we want to select our uh, validate order um, API. So once we save that, uh, you're not really going to see anything change uh, visually. But then we hit save, and if I enter my name now, and select a time, and I click order, you'll see that you have been banned has been run. So that actually went out, called the API, and um, did that validation without actually having to run the script. So it kind of gives you a chance to catch you know, invalid inputs before the user actually executes the script. Um, and then if I were to change this, you can see it starts running. So in this video, we looked at how to build a form uh, over the top of your PowerShell scripts using the uh, PowerShell Universal Page Designer.